I was like 15 years old, went with my dad or family, and my dad wanted a bottle beer. All they had was cup beer on the on yeah. No, he wanted a bottle beer, and he heard there was a bar like one block over that had bottle beer. So we went in the bar and we're standing there. And my dad ordered a bottle of beer and he had to pee. And huh? we're going to the bathroom. We walk in the bathroom and there's two bikers, and one of them's just hammering another one in the ass. Oh fuck and around! My dad's my dad's face just turned ready, turned looked at me, and we walked out. That was yeah. my Bourbon Street. I had right. some weird ass experiences. That's some weird bourbon. shit there, man. I'm telling you, bourbon's crazy, man. And we are back on another episode of the Outlaw Way podcast here. Boy, we know yeah. how to enter, don't we? Yeah, we, the we got the boss, the we got Nacho, <laughs> we got Cheeto, and our special guest here today, Bryce Sparks, better known as Whiskey Biz. Whiskey. On this, ice. Man, right this man here. Now, if y'all don't know, y'all got to go check this man out. Search Whiskey Biz and whatever you want to. It's got a big old Z at the end yeah. of it. You got, small, Man's got you, what, you got a small dick and big dream? Yes, sir. Got that right, baby. Got Louis Vuitton seats and the wife's razor. Mm -hmm. And if oh, I'm yeah. not wrong, didn't you just do the real Hot Wheels loop in person? Oh, yeah. Oh, like yeah. you built a giant Hot Wheels yeah. loop. Croc tires, the yeah. uh, loop to loop, the damn uh, swing, got the razor clips on I'm starting to think that you just do some psychedelic drugs at some time during mm. the week to come up with these crazy ideas. Cause I'm starting to believe the sayings, small dick, deep pockets. I'm just saying. The like deep I, pockets are definitely true. The deep pockets are getting shallow, <laughs> boys, because these videos, they take a... So how much does it cost to build your own Hot Wheels loop? It's a, It's about 30 grand. Yeah. See, that's crazy to me. And then that don't that's, count the machine, and, you know. And not only is it thirty grand to build the Hot Wheels loop and the machine added to it, you got to have the balls. So you front to strap in are you and front do a loop. thirty grand and, and getting it back after the video or sponsors, yeah. or are you sponsoring the thirty grand and making it later? Uh, well, mo for the most part, uh, I can make it off the videos. Okay, um, but I do have some sponsors that help out. You know, I couldn't I couldn't have done it without them. Uh, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's it's a lot of it. I got to front myself. Yeah, I could see that, and then you do all well, the work yourself, change pretty at some much. Point. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, yeah I, I build all that shit myself. That and that is uh, that's what, a lot yeah. of people don't think it's real. Man. I just want to know so, what was going through your head when you were like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this helmet on and I'm gonna do a fucking loop real quick. Well, so it, it all kind of that 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 the loop itself, the rolled round pieces, was left over from a job site. Yeah. So I saw them one day, and I thought like they were all laying, you know, on the ground. I thought one, I thought, man, that'd be kind of cool to just jump them, you know, just like big yeah. loop section. So did you see the vision of the orange racetrack in your bedroom yeah. when you were seven? Is that yep. when you saw it? Mm-hmm. But I seen them all laying out like that, and I was like, I want to just jump them or like do some wild yeah. shit. I got you thinking, man, I should bolt them bitches together <laughs> and see if I can run them upside down. <laughs> so and it just grew from there. So we see redneck build some shit, yeah. see will this side by side go around. Do you actually put some engineering behind it and go, okay, this speed, this loop, I can make it? You just get in just like a hundred percent. I'm winging it. Hundred <laughs> percent. Hold my beer. Watch this. shit. I think everything I've seen him do is just stomp on that beast. So how yes. nerve wracking well, was the first attempt? So there, there was. I, I have about 15 minutes of unused footage on yeah. my GoPro of me just feeling it out. You know what I mean? Just back and I was, forth. Yeah, I was hoping that I was going to be able to rock it back and forth like a swing. You know, higher and higher and higher, and then get to that point. But I couldn't because the engine braking, the clutching, yeah. it would just engine brake and slow down, and I'd be sitting there at the bottom at oh, six o'clock. Yeah. I couldn't get up the other side. Did you yeah. see him when he made it? Did you see what he what he said? You got to give me a fucking minute. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's they what I said. Talk to me. She's like, shut the fuck. I up. see when you got out, your pants are wet. She yeah. Was like, Did you piss yourself? <laughs> oh, I love. So that was perfect for content, right? And yeah. I knew that was gonna grab like, com uh, you know, comments. Yeah. Shitty comments or not, didn't matter. Still hey, really funny shit though. Better. Yeah, but so I got a guy that helps me, younger kid Andrew. He's a great kid. He, he helps me wash the side-by-sides and shit. Yeah. So he was at my house that day washing side-by-sides, and I forgot to tell him, hey, don't touch the RS1 because I'm going to put it in the loop later. I didn't think nothing about it, forgot yeah. all about it. Well, those aftermarket seats, you know how they are. They hold water real bad. The harnesses yeah, yeah, were yeah. soaked. Everything was soaked. My steering wheel was wet. Like, everything was <laughs> going against me. But, the ultimate danger. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't yeah. be. I mean, I couldn't be mad at the kid, right? He was no, just, just doing his job. job and, yeah. So anyways, yeah, the seat was wet. Harness was wet. I got out. And, I, yeah, I had wet spots and weird so what's Spots, the birth bro. of all these? Like, okay, you did croc tires. You were spinning. Uh, you did a boat. He, he made you one did of them the float. boat. You did the yeah. huge. So yeah. are, you, the floating are you like seeing something and, and getting it? Are you reading something, watching TV? Like, where's your spark coming well, from? Well, so so the swing that come from Whistling Diesel, one hundred percent. I gave I shouted him. I gave him all the credit for that. You know, it was pretty cool though because somebody did uh, who gave him the idea reached out to me and said, "Dude, I gave him that idea. Here's our screenshots. Yada yada." It's so cool. You could get it done, whatever. Everybody wants that fucking attention, boy. Yeah. And, and he was he was super cool about it, you know. But, yeah. he, man, he had a lot of guys come at me. Uh, you know, not not him personally, but his following come at me. Oh, yeah, they're hot. like a cult over there, yeah. too. Yeah. Well, it was wild, which is kind of like how I feel I am right now, which is great. Because everybody so hated Whistling Diesel. You're on fucking fire. Right? Yeah. And then they love him. So everybody yes. hates me right now. Uh, you know, but at it's that coming. Point, but it's but coming. But I feel like it's coming. Yeah. On social around. media, you can go to 
You go to any platform, but go hit it right now. Yeah, if yeah. You're at home, hit it right now. I guarantee you, one of his videos pops up. He's yeah. on fire, t- man. And you know what's crazy to me is the whole hate thing on the comments. Usually, when I see comments on a bigger creator's page, like that does stuff like you do or Whistle and Diesel does, big mechanical items, objects, stuff like that, most of the comments are hate comments. They are. They how are. stupid this is, mm. how stupid well, it is. Well, a lot of it is just crazy because seat. people absolutely will take something meant for humor. And make it so serious. Yes, like, yes. dude. You, you stuck the like it's just for entertainment. Well, did the well did the pipes on the hub? But there are and people that, that are actually thirty foot mad, wide. actually upset yeah. that he is doing good. Yeah, just yes. because he's he's fucking accomplishing yes. something. The funniest, off. the funniest one, the funniest hate comments I think I've ever seen on one of your videos was when you did the LED light whips that were like yeah. fifteen yeah. foot. Yes. I seen some pissed off people yes. about that. Yes, but they're like, well, I like my, I like light my hot. fucking light whips. We're yeah. forgetting one though. I was like, what the we fuck? are forgetting one. The fucking Megatron. Did you see the Megatron? Which one? You ain't seen the Megatron? The, Megatron. Oh, the TVs. Yeah. Jumbo oh, Tron. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Jumbo yes. Tron. I'm Jumbo Mega, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen the Jumbo both Tron. Big. You can shit. tell her it's Jumbo or Mega. She's going to say, okay. That's a badass shit. idea. Thanks, That's man. That's good shit. Yeah, I, so, so to answer your question. We need lot, one right there now. That'd be sick. We could can, we can definitely do we that. We need to do that and connect the cameras that's in our lasers back there. Yeah. Where people come in, they can see shit cutting. That'd be cool. And, oh, that'd be cool as fuck. That'd be cool. But yeah, somebody'd hack you. <laughs> he just, he just hear process. fucking clapping Cajun. up there. What are you, what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put a Megatron right there. So, so, so the videos, they, they, uh, a lot of them, a lot of them do like the loop that spawn that's in my head. The, 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 the swing. I saw that Whistling Diesel tried it, couldn't get it done. Said it was gonna be tough. I don't. I think he might have said you couldn't do it. I thought I he said it was impossible. Yeah. He said it was impossible to do because yeah. nothing could hold up to the loop. Yes. Yep. So I, I, I wanted to and then do you, that, and then you looped it. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll, it held up, and then. It, yeah. So it was kind of possible. Yeah, and it was possible. I feel like we did it. A lot of people said we cheated, used you know, skid steer to get my fuel pressure and all that shit built, and then when they dropped me. Yeah. But regardless, I did try it from zero. Anyways. Um, so, yeah, most of other than that, they come the kind of in my head. You know? So do you know Whistling Diesel? You talk to him? No, no, I don't know him. He shared some of my stuff. Like, he gave me uh, he gave me props for that video. He liked it. He, he reposted it. Uh, he yeah. said something about, this is cool. Your engine's probably junk, though. So then the next weekend, I... I, I Put it in another video. I was trying to drive it on two wheels. Um, that didn't work out real good. But <laughs> uh, you know, I just wanted the only yeah. reason we did that video was was something I can come up with quick that just shows that it still runs. Yeah. So that's why we did that video. But um, yeah, they, they spawn in my head for the most part. That's good shit right there. And I mean, you're working on this stuff. I mean, pretty much Full every time. day, night, yeah. fucking okay, weekend. I got. I do have a question though because through everything. So you say like thirty grand for the loop. You know, let's say. Have 20 grand one. to make it flow, another 25 to do a, the flip thing. Yeah. And, and we don't have AC in the shop, dog. Yeah, well, it just, it just AC it keeps me and then we'll, keeps me to my roots, you know what I'm saying? Homie, I put an AC in my shop and I'm still with the fucking <laughs> I don't roots. Give okay. a shit about my <laughs> okay. Okay. You know, No, uh so it's coming, but the, the the biggest difference is that's how I make a living is me yeah. is me doing those videos and doing that. And you guys know me, man, out, outside of the, the social media shit in real life. And I'm always working on this stuff. Yeah, so it's yeah. like I haven't had I haven't had I, I got a, a whole day off the other day and took my daughter to arcade and did all that shit. You know what I mean? If I had a whole day off, I might put some AC in that <laughs> motherfucker. But I haven't for a long time. Yeah. So like, yes, the, the Jumbotron, that AC would have been probably nicer for me. But yeah, it wouldn't have Jumbotron paid me nothing. Views. It's just and it is. It is a it was badass. vastly different environment too. When you're in the shop and the doors open and the music's mm. on and you're working in yeah, there, dude, yeah. you know, you, it is. When you go to somebody's shop, you don't plan on seeing a jumbotron. No, you damn sure don't plan on seeing a jumbotron with the picture of the dude's face on it. Yeah, <laughs> and then to be built the way it was built with the angles and and so you know, That's badass. That's you badass. you inspired Thanks, you inspired the thirty degree angle of those rims. Yeah, I was yeah. watching that video as i was fixing to mount those and he said it's about 30 degrees i was like that works yeah yeah <laughs> hell yeah so. no yeah it's i have a lot of fun doing it man and oh, awesome. and, and, uh, well, what, and yeah. what events are you coming up to in the next couple of weeks man. and everything like that because i know a lot of people I mean, that's your big thing you go to a lot of events yeah i mean dude. you get around <laughs> yeah, yeah i mean I get you, around you burn the roads up pretty hot so where, yeah, you, where yeah. are you heading in the next couple of weeks man i got uh i got a few coming up but my, I got to actually, after this podcast, I got to haul ass back to Missouri to yeah. the loop. Uh, I'm going there to do uh, do a little event. But 
I got some stuff lined up in Texas, and I'm trying to, th I'm trying to think off the top of my head, but I got a lot. But there's yeah, what is so it? Many is it Labor know, Day? To be honest with you, is it Labor Which Day one? that's coming up? Yeah, you got Labor Day in September. Yeah, what are you doing? You got anything planned for Labor Day or anything yet? Um, I know that I do, but I don't know what it is. Gotcha. I know that every I have one weekend available in October, and I'm planning to leave it open just for repairs and stuff because. Yeah. You're that, gonna you be. Y'all know, know how it is. Like oh, destroying yeah, them every I, weekend. Then I work all week. We did that. We did that like twelve solid weeks in yeah. there where we had a ride every other weekend, and we weren't at a ride. We were at something else. So the next weekend, and man, I mean, I'm talking about yeah. his was front diff was blown up axles. His was frame bent axles. Mine, I had half mine welded back together, and I was just yep. silicone and boots up between parks. Every to ride you make these in the field repairs. Yes, after a month or two, I know, I know all about <laughs> it. Man. When I when I got back to the house and I, I just fixed all my arms and all my axles and pulled my diff and everything like fixed everything mm -hmm. from front to back. Man, I didn't even know how. I don't know if I was drunk when I was doing half this shit fixing it, <laughs> right or what? But y yes, you do. So our, our, <laughs> I don't you know. do know. Our schedule shows. September 8th. So I know we're not doing that one. So September 15th, 16th is Smoky Mountain Truck Fest with JTX. Smoky Mountain Truck Fest. Uh, September 21st through 24th, Rednecks for Paychecks in Texas. I'll and be at that one too, Rednecks. Okay. I'll be Rednecks. at that one. Uh, I'm miss it. September You're 20th. missing it? I got to miss it. You uh, motherfucker. My, kid, my kid kids coming. do the next week. Uh, oh, okay. The 28th yeah. through October yeah. 1st. Is what does Carter that have to do with that week? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't um, do nothing. I can't Carter Off-Road in Little Rock is the 28th through the 1st. And then you got um, a Dude. river run in October and a river run in November. And then, of course, you got SEMA in the middle of that. Yeah. But, I'm skipping um, out everything you after have, uh, September. August 20. You're not going to SEMA? No. Uh, what? I've, I've had three people ask me to be in their booth and take my shit out there. I'm just not going this year. What? I'm just not going. I'm going to have a three-week I'll be. I'll, SEMA's I will the be one I'm looking in forward October. to, man. I'll be at that nah. one. Yeah, you need to be at uh, it. it's the Mudden for the Cure. It's the biggest one of the year. Is that is that the I, I was I was told yeah. it's like XXX Trail Challenge or something like that. They got a big trail challenge. Oh, yeah, they, do. they yeah, got that, an events that, course and they got last the, year they that had, event. Uh, yeah. yeah, last year we had what seven. 6,600 people there or something? There was a bunch of fucking 7, people. 7,200 people, something like that? I got a, a, it just made me think of it, Poppy Mountain in Kentucky. I'll be at last week in October uh, okay. with Chase Matthews. Oh, we have, what uh, is, are you going to SEMA? No. We have a uh, trailer my, my, show I in think, Nevada. Uh, for sure, Paper Chase and my Blue Razor will be out there. Yeah. Um, it'll be at the CW Motorsports booth. Yeah. But I don't know if Sweet and Low's going to, I think Sweet and Low's going to go, but I, it, it also may be the 6x6. Six six. I don't know. Might, might yeah. be both. Have you doing? have you ever been out there to the see six six no, the have Thoppers booth. It's awesome, man. Go three days early. Take a lot of chapstick. Yeah. Don't go out at night. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about that. I know about that. <laughs> <laughs> that shit about, ki about killed you, about killed mm. me. Fuck. You get off the plane in Vegas. Like your sinuses immediately get scabs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so dry. I there's midget strippers. We, we there's were, midget strippers. Me and Chip were in Vegas for SEMA. It, we were damn near walking from trash can to trash can to throw up. Yeah. We were so fucking sick. It was terrible. I, dude, I, so I like, I, I love gambling. It's, it's something I, I really like to do. I'm a craps you player. You do not need to go to fucking Vegas. You so, do not need to go with Cheeto <laughs> to Vegas. I love I love gambling. Um, I don't do it a lot. I go yeah. do a couple, two or three times a year or something like that. I pay a thousand bucks, a couple thousand. Bucks. I don't get crazy. Just have have fun. And and I only yeah, do I that much. Crazy. Crazy. I only I only do Shit. that. Honestly, I only do that much because I only go a couple times a year. You know. Yeah. Um But so what we do is mainly I'll I'll play. You know the day or whatever and then my, me and my, me and the old lady will go watch a show at night that's yeah. that's what we do we don't uh that's fun time. Well, we were doing the trade shows during the day well at night we would go eat well then we would eat well then we'd go gamble a little while yeah. then you know then you look up it's three in the morning you're like fuck i gotta go to sleep so i'd go to sleep well hell the people you've been around all fucking week I, I go to sleep. I go up there, take a shower, take a four or five hour nap. I come back down. They're still in the same clothes on a different machine. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, uh, that's have cheap. You, yeah. Have you gone to sleep, bud? Some fans or something over here? Can you get a fan or something over here? Like, this, he's, he's about to have a heat stroke over here. He's, he's about to, to burn. Up. I'd let him burn up. I'm about to kick Ryan square in the nuts when I find him. <laughs> I, we got another AC guy on his way now. Good. If, if everybody don't know, it is hot as fucking here. Shit, man. Because our the the AC, AC is I feel like Jay Ball's building is not working. <laughs> You know what I'm Beautiful. Saying? So whiskey, we always end up doubling up. Y'all would show up at events. We're yeah. all there. We do a lot of shit together. You're on a podcast today, but 
I'm hearing you've having some conversations, maybe thinking about joining the podcast more Dude, often, full time. I want to, man. I want to so bad. I got, I do my thing. I got mine. Um, but it's tough getting guests, dude. I, I've yeah. had I've had guests flake out so many times, and it just gets frustrating because I don't have a lot of time. So that, and I don't want to. Oh, I really want what I want to try and do because I was been a blue collar dude my whole life, man. I, I fucking I, I've missed out on a lot of my life and all that. You know, seeing I miss my daughter's first steps, all that shit, man. So what I want to do, what I'm trying to do with my podcast, dollar. Chasing yeah. The dollar. yeah. What I want to do with it is put some people on there that are that are fucking real like like yeah. uh what is that bullshit they come up with during the scam uh essential oh, real yeah. motherfucking essential, <laughs> essential people you workers, know what i mean yeah. like essential i want to get i want to get um so i i basically i put my foot down and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do one until i can get a cop or i can get a lineman or someone Somebody's that is like working in the field, motherfucker yeah. we gotta have these motherfuckers yeah. or else so the world don't go right if we bring him in and he's just part of the podcast we do this work out the schedule why don't we just do a, a series we could do a essential worker series and i'll tell you what the, the you know those podcasts like out there getting people is probably the hardest thing to do it well yeah because i can get somebody right but i also need somebody that's a character i also need somebody yeah. that's willing that's either been retired or something because like i don't blame them that they don't want to come on and tell me yes. that this that that this girl maybe offered some sexual favors to get out of a ticket maybe yeah. that guy doesn't want to tell me that you yeah. know and i don't and blame maybe he can't you know there's that's a lot what, of stuff that they that's what i'm saying say. so it's it's you're yeah. you're limited they, they and definitely, even when you find a dude it may not be a character that you want to have you know yeah and they're currently employed they have to be very careful right so For sure. that so For sure. so i know a lot of social media people that are tiktokers youtubers whatever you want to call them that started out their creator stuff as a police officer yeah. or a firefighter or an ambulance driver or something like that. And they were telling stories in their vehicle, Odie? in their uniform. To my Odie? And they, man, they just, they were great people. Yep. But it, it, they got to the point where they were so famous, they couldn't work anymore. Yeah, yeah. Because they just couldn't. Yeah. yeah. They couldn't work in the field. They couldn't do anything at all because people would bother them. My, so my shit work. never got to that point. And I don't think I'm, I'm even, I'm not a Nat's ass on famous. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm just, I'm kind of recognizable. All my fucking followers, for the most part, are uh, the the vast majority of my followers are blue collar guys and girls, yeah. you know. So if I go on a job site, I get recognized. Yeah, come it, up gets, night. it gets difficult, you know, and yeah. and that that happened a lot. In, so I, I was actually, actually a fucking Richard Simmons video. Uh, Richard Simmons, he's been dead eighty years. I don't know, but I don't know who that is. Well, he's, you know he's been dead so long. We're I don't fucking working out to the oldies or something. Is, is that that weirdo dead? workout guy? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Is Richard Simmons dead? I think so. I I'm gonna dead. be that motherfucker for Halloween, man. He ain't dead. <laughs> That's the oldest. I know you're talking about purple be. tights and shit, yeah, looking yeah. like a. Did he have a headband? I, I be, huh? Did he have I, a headband? I think sometimes he had an afro. I thought and a and a headband. Sometimes, yeah. He had a fucking headband. <laughs> and he had the long headband. <laughs> fucking too. like a like a gay Peter Pan or something. Well, there was this deal on TikTok. This there's a straight, uh, girl from Generation X came out and said that that the government. Oh damn, the government was messing with Generation X. He come over here and flex on my chain by discrediting. So by discrediting him on little bitty facts, yeah. and one of the facts was, did Richard Simmons wear a headband? Mm -hmm. She's like, yes. And she called five of her friends, and they're like, yeah, I got the Wheaties box or whatever, you know, where there's proof. They got on Google and searched it. They have scrubbed every picture of this dude with a headband on, mm -hmm. and they've got Generation X arguing with Generation Z about whether or not he wore a fucking headband. It's crazy. I'll tell you what, you know, you know something else like that. It's kind of like a deja vu moment. Fruit of the loom, you know, underwear, shirts, hands, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Did it have a cornucopia behind the fruit? Yeah. Yeah, it did. No, it didn't. Hey, what about the Monopoly guy? <laughs> the Monopoly guy? Did he have does glasses? Does he have a thing or not? He had a monocle. He had a fucking monocle. I don't think he does. He never. He has never had They're one. They're fucking with us. I'm telling you. <laughs> They're fucking with us. The I peanut, know what you're talking the about. The peanut guy. Wow. The peanut guy had a monocle, yeah. but the Monopoly guy the didn't have a monocle. The Monopoly guy right. did, too. I think, no, I think, didn't. I think these conspiracies are getting a little <laughs> weird. They're intense, bro. They're intense as <laughs> but fuck. But they're doing this shit on purpose. That's crazy. Where that would, so the, They would deliberately the take Richard Simmons' headband off so that we could look stupid. Richard Simmons. I mean, sweat come on. Band. All the shit you can do, you're going to take your sweatband off. <laughs> yeah. I do have a little, funny story. You bring up, shit. Funny story you bring up Richard Simmons. So uh, when I used to work on an ambulance, <laughs> me and my partner go to New Orleans to take a patient. It's hot as fuck. We're in New Orleans. I'm like, we got to at least go to Bourbon Street while we're here. So we take the ambulance down. We turn the siren on and clear Bourbon Street. We're driving down Bourbon Street in the ambulance just because we fucking could. Hell yeah. You know? So we get halfway down <laughs> Bourbon Street. And uh, my partner said, uh, hey, there's Richard Simmons. I turn and look, and he's standing on the sidewalk. 
As soon as I looked at him, he dropped his pants, done the helicopter with his dick. So it was like, hey, there's Richard Simmons. Hey, there's Richard Simmons' dick. Like he's standing on the side of the like, swirling hey, it. Little like, tire fall the fuck okay. Yeah. So that was weird experience. That, hey, uh, Did you get out and touch it? New Orleans no, is where I, I got married I at, man. I love New Orleans, man. I used to love freaky. New Orleans. It's I love that place. I it's, used to love it. It smells bad, but why don't you like it? When I two stopped, dudes in a bathroom. When I stopped, the other one. <laughs> I stopped drinking when I went to New Orleans. Yeah. Yeah. When I drank and I was having we were fucking bar hopping, yeah. getting mixed drinks, uh, walking, fucking partying. It's a good fucking time. I was like 15 years old, went with my dad or family, and my dad wanted to bottle beer. All they had was cup beer on the on yeah. No, he wanted to bottle beer and he heard there was a bar like one block over that had bottled beer. So we went in the bar and we're standing there and my dad ordered a bottle of beer and he had to pee. And we're going to the bathroom. We walk in the bathroom and there's two bikers and one of them's just hammering another one in the ass. Oh, fuck and around. My dad's, my dad's face just turned red. He turned and looked at me and we walked out. That was yeah. my bourbon street. I had right. some weird ass experiences That's some on weird bourbon. shit there, man. I'm telling you, bourbon's crazy, man. It's a different one. I don't know. Either way, though. Either way. You fucking Hot Wheels looping, you Louis Vuitton seat, and you're fucking building wild and crazy shit. You got a Jumbotron, not a Megatron. That's a fucking Transformer. Yeah, but tell these, we, I've seen, if anybody's watched his lives, watching when he packages merch, all that, you're, you're packaging other products too. You got seat lowers, you got brackets, you got, I mean, all this shit that you're coming up with yourself yeah, or you're yeah. making. No, like, the, yeah, like the, the seat, seat lowering bases. That was kind of like a, just a drunk idea that I kind of had in my shop one night. I love the low, low cage look, you know yeah. what I mean? But I also wanted to be able to not, rack my head off the cage every time i drove it so yeah i made this seat base um out of some sheet metal just drinking some beers in my shop one night turned out pretty cool and now we sell a bunch of them i didn't want anything to do with actually moving them um so john whaley who builds my cages um they, they we sell them uh on his site um i own the patent to it which is pretty cool that's the only only thing that i've patented out of all the stuff i've built mm-hmm. but um but yeah, I built lots of lots of just so wild. You do, you do not have a patent on the phrase "small dick." Is that what you're saying? I'm in the middle of you don't have trademarking, a trademark. it, but it's very difficult. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very difficult. Very, a four grand there's in a lot it right of the, now. There's, there's a, a lot of those still people. Not there. You're gonna be about it's eight. It's attached to a lot of people. It. Yeah, so so it's like, well, is that and it is a normal phrase, right? Like they're like whiskey biz, no problem. Boom, five hundred bucks. That thing's done because yeah. it's just whiskey. Like it's like yeah. so. So but so you take a normal phrase, like a normal phrase saying. Right, but what's the sweet harder. spot? What do we do? You take it and put a. Do you know somebody owns a store, like a local store? Uh, you find some way to put it on a sticker or something, and put it in a package, and put it on the shelf in that store. And if it's on the shelf for thirty days or forty-five days, or that's a year. A year. You gotta do it for a year. It's done. It becomes your. Huh. It becomes trademarked. You have to be able to prove that you was retailing it a year prior. So, yet yeah, all like everything y'all are saying is ringing a lot, of, lots of bells that I'm in the middle of with this trademark lawyer right well, now. I'm gonna tell you, it, I just gave the fuck the, up. Not about the trademark. The, nice. the trademark <laughs> it gives you about a 15 second window where you feel okay. Well, that's kind of what I'm noticing with my seat bases. So, like I've seen other people yeah. ripping it's them only, off. It's like whatnot. it's like, like a the, confidentiality agreement, and or, you can't do shit about it. Um, anything else? It's well, as good as the fucking paper it's on. Yeah. The other people, if they want to, they can push it. They can dive. They can go. You can they, go after them. You can spend money if you want to. You might win. You might lose. They actually, but we have found if you stay ahead of the fuckers, they can't catch you. Yeah. So if we come out with a product or we come out with something and stay they copy twelve that, months, eighteen months ahead of them, products out ahead of that's you what don't I'm give saying. A shit. They can't keep up with you. And who matters? That's, matter that's where I'm at with the, the with the a, shit. A mm-hmm. patent is only as good as you can afford to protect it. Yeah. yeah. So well, for me, it was with the seat bases and stuff. I wanted a little something to stand on. Uh, it, I'd never patented anything before. It was my first one. I thought yeah. it'd be kind of cool, cool to be a patent to holder. You it's know? cool. Yeah, it's cool to have it framed up and everything, and to have yeah. it. And it's cool to have a big dick on the first conversation. You throw your dick on the table, I got a patent on that bitch. So <laughs> now you hope the other guy goes, damn, you got a big dick. But there's those guys go, I don't give a fuck. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And, and, and you got, fuck, them, fuck them guys anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what, how many are they going to sell? You know? Yeah, that's, exactly. that's where I'm at with it. That's you the big thing. Kind of like a little tree. You can send a cease and desist letter, <laughs> yeah. see if it holds up, see and if they stop. It holds or, up. You can yeah, send me yeah. as many as you want because <laughs> I will frame every damn one of them. It fucking holds up. Let me one tell you One of my best days is Bic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bic owns koozies. So we put. We put out koozies, put them on the website, and Bic sent us a cease and desist letter. So if Bic sends us a cease and desist letter, we're doing something. That's you know, what's in my head. So we took it as a cease and desist. We framed them, put them on the wall. Little trees. Little trees. 
like the, the little trees. The fucking air freshener? Yes. 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 We made aluminum trees. That had and been, I was telling them. And they, uh, they sent me a cease and desist. They said we had 30 days. We ran that bitch 29 and three quarter. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool as hell, though. I they like are. that. Cease and desist letters. I framed that bitch. I did. That's exactly what we do. Like, it's intense as fuck. And I reached back out to them. And I was like, hey, maybe you want to work together on something? They were like, no. That's crazy. I was like, okay, <laughs> fuck me, Bro, then. Yeah, I know. I know y'all had some talks with Crocs and shit. I listened to y'all shit. I was so that was, I was so bummed out. Crocs didn't hit me with this Croc tires, man. I thought for yeah, sure, for sure. I thought that was a done deal. I I oh, I didn't completely run over the cop car with them, but I drove all the way up onto the hood and everything yeah. with them. I, I thought, yeah. I was. They were sponsoring me. I was getting Crocs. We were done. Yeah. And I, well, I, I brought up talks about cocaine, cocaine. Yeah, yeah. and they were yep. out. Yep. But what you done? That, that was. Bro. Like that was a yeah, was, no was, brainer I sponsorship. Right I thought a hundred percent I was gonna get that email and it didn't happen. Nothing. Yep. Damn. So my thing is, so like I have some really weird fucking off the wall sponsors. I wear a Carhartt shirt every day. Yeah. Every single one of my videos pretty much has a Carhartt shirt on. Yeah. They're weird as fuck. You, they'll probably ask you for a check. So they're yeah, they're weird as fuck. So like sometimes, sometimes I'll get a box at the house. I had to go get a dolly or something and drag this bitch back to the door because they sent me so much shit. Car does? Mm -hmm. Then it'll be four or five months, and I won't hear from them. And really? then I'll message them and be like, "Hey, I'm kind of trying to work on this. You know, would y'all like to get into it?" No, we're not sending you anything. What's wrong with you? We don't fucking send shit. I'm like, you just sent me a box like three months ago. They were like, "We well, don't know why." Damn. And then That's two. And then two months say, later, so Walt Disney. They got some good shit, boy. Yeah. I was so pissed when they did all their whatever stuff. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't even remember now. But they made I, all their workers get the vaccine. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. Man, that pissed me off. I, I didn't like quit buying it or any of that no, shit, whatever, no. or quit wearing it. I still wore my shit. I would still buy yeah. the shit if whatever, but I just pretty much, I wear all my own shit. The now, only you know? thing that pissed me off with them ever, and I've I've worn Carhartt, because it was our company uniform for seven years out there where I was working. Yep. They provided you Carhartt pants and Carhartt shirts for work. They bought them. So everybody fucking wore Fuck yeah. That's kind of so what fuck they it. provide means. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying. So fuck it. And then the only thing I don't like to do, they switch their denim. They changed their pants them from them, from them <laughs> thick I'm ass out. good Fuck fucking sorry. blue jeans. I'll, I'll never buy their shoes. Yeah, yeah. fuck them. I'm out now too. Yeah. Yeah. They fucking switched yeah. them. Out. They yeah. they went stretchy jeans changed instead of real blue jeans. Yeah. yeah. And after they did that, I ain't fucking bought them. No I don't identify as a stretchy jeans guy. Yeah, I like I like fucking jeans that have a little stretch to them, well, but I, I don't do. like elastic fucking jeans. Yeah. You know. Yeah. No you, doubt. You bet he does. Yeah. I bet he likes stretchy jeans. Look right. at his ass. I'm gonna slap you in the dick again. If I was, that, if I was, if I was that big, I'd this motherfucker here. Let me tell you something about this motherfucker over here, too. whiskey. If he don't have stretchy me, jeans, that bitch can't breathe. Let me tell you about this so much right here. You know how many vegetables this motherfucker's eating in his goddamn life? None. None. He only eats meat. I eat potatoes. That's I not eat a fucking. Beans. Uh, I'm gonna correct you because he sat down one night and ate a jar of French onion dip. Told me that was his vegetables. He doesn't. Chip was riding eat me vegetables. like, you got to eat vegetables. You got to eat vegetables. So I, I had a whole tub damn of French tub onion of French dip. onion dip. It's got no, onions in it. I, mean, kind of hey, I, did, I did a podcast last week. French onion and dip on the count. I don't give a fuck about steak. I know y'all gonna be all pissy with me, no. but I don't like. I don't. I don't, I don't care either. for it. I, I would eat. much rather have some hot wings yeah. or or a badass burger or a badass pizza or something. Fuck a steak, man. I only steak like two or three times a month at my ex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to eat uh, it a lot when I was younger. I'm not gonna like, lie, I like steak, but I don't I need it. It's overrated. It. They got good PR. I Whoever go, steak is, yeah. they got good PR. Well, that's yeah. all I'm it's saying. Like I told you about the breakfast thing. This shit. <laughs> They're pushing the shit they want you. to Yeah, eat. breakfast got good PR too. I'm trying to get some of them people. How old were how old when pork was bad? Oh, and then how old were you when pork is the next white meat? Were you like 60 something? How old were you when? No. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I ain't never. I don't and know. So it, it's all in the cook, though, what I'm saying. Yeah. Steak's good. I like steak, but I like chicken. I like fish. I like, I like it all. I like steak. My wife cooks but I'm not going to eat a steak every night. Right now. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. going to eat a steak yeah. every week. Yeah, but all you need is meat. Fuck. Yeah. That's all you eat. I, I just can't fucking do it. I need some vegetables. I eat. He I do eat, eat vegetables. I eat 90% vegetables, 10% fucking are not meat. Vegetables. I eat a like, lot of damn mac and cheese. Not any vegetables. Oh, hey, fuck. I'm going to tell you this. I eat every single fucking night. This is Y'all might not know this about me. Yeah. Every single night, I eat the same thing. What? Tocino's pizza. Rolls. Just, just the, the pizza. Square? The square. Why? Every single night. Why? Bro, when not I tell really. you. Why? For real? Put me on a lie detector. Why? For real? He's got it. Oh, he bought the fucking pizza oven and everything. Yeah. I cook it on a pizzazz. Why? I got a pizzazz now. Good fucking purchase. Just it's change just your different. life, boy. It's just different. I knew I okay. knew there was a different glow okay. about you that I didn't see <laughs> okay. the last time. My man got a pizzazz. <laughs> okay, right. you added That's saturated fat. Is. Hold up, back up. No, it's Why? just different. Every night 
A fucking tortilla. Y'all. Are you sponsored by the fuckers or no, something? No, I'm not. But that'd be sick if they reached out to me. <laughs> I will tell you, I'm on this fucking grind, bro. I put in so much motherfucking time. I know, I know, I'm not saying that y'all don't, yeah. but it would, you would shit your fucking pants. I swear to you, if you knew how much sleep I get every night and <laughs> what the time <laughs> me and my wife put in on this fucking game. That's I can't what, even that's, imagine. Bro, that, the loop video took three months to do. I'm not fucking kidding you. When I, when I, it is not a bit, I, I, when I shot the podcast uh, last week with, with John uh, Whaley, I, I told him I'll be there at seven o'clock, 7 p.m. or whatever. And I was like, hey, man, sorry, I'm kind of running late or whatever. I was up till four in the morning building the, the, the Megatron or the yeah. Jumbotron. You got me on a Megatron now. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it literally, like, if I get these ideas, I got to go. I get yeah. this. I got this. I want you to listen I to got this. this fucking drive, man. I can't, I can't sleep on it. You know? So hey, I'm going to tell you. I want her to listen. Chip's the world's fucking worst Look, about this. I sleep so little. Yeah. And I'd put in, I'm on the ground like you. It's gotten to the point, Whiskey, where I'm timid, like, Somebody, the fucking law is watching me. Yeah. They think I'm fucking running dope or something because I'm <laughs> up an hour. I've actually been watching annoying. him lately to see if he's slipping something out of his pocket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I came up the other day. We worked a full shift. We stayed. I didn't even realize it was as late as it was till employees started coming back in the next day. So we worked another day. So I've been here 40-ish hours. Yep. Haven't left. Still working. I finally told Chip, like, dude, I got to go home, get a few hours of sleep. I ain't going to be worth shit. When I went home, slept about five and a half hours, six hours, got back up here. He's still here working. Yep. So I'm talking about 40 hours straight. I go home, sleep, come back. Well, he's still working. Here's my, here's my thing. Number one, it's the way I'm built. I was born in an era that you work. Yeah. That's what you do. Yep. And if there's work to be done, you fucking get it done. Then I've got this where, you know, the firearms is up and down and our CPA is one minute. I'm, I'm, a tenth away from being a billionaire, the next minute I'm finna file bankruptcy. It's, like, it's just it's back that's and just forth. owning a business. Anything I've yeah. ever been a part of, so anyway. So trying to figure out where the sweet spot is and how you get this many products or the the product rolling where you're just you're steady, yep. you know. Yep. So that's the grind. Well, then my damn father passes away, and for whatever reason, if I go to sleep for more than two hours and I wake up, he dies again. Yeah. I can't find my phone. I can't find nothing, and I don't want to do that shit no more. I've done right. it for a month. I'm out. Yeah. Like, is, so there any, is there any therapist out there that can come help him, by the way? <laughs> hey, I don't this think is, therapy, but, this but, has been, what, eight weeks of some dude, bullshit you, dealing and, with Chip. And yeah, this yeah, is yeah. honest. This like, is honest God truth. If I, like, every, once every two or three months on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'll wake up at 11 or so. Like, I'll sleep. But I feel like shit for days. Yeah. When I get back to my hour naps, two hours sleep, three hours sleep, whatever, I feel great. Like, I could go. I don't know if it's just... My biggest thing that is... That makes me feel better that somebody else is doing the same thing. Between 8 p.m. and, like, 3 a.m., that is the best, most productive work no, hours ain't. you can have. No, it ain't, because I called you last night to come do podcasts. You're like, I got to decorate. I can't... That's late I was night. busy. I can't go late, late at night. I was busy. I decorated... So I, got I drove to your house tomorrow. at midnight and brought you parts. Yeah, yeah, because you're up anyway. Fuck it. <laughs> and then I put all that shit on that night. Yeah, you did. I did. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah he, look, he brought me a full set of front A-arms, rear A-arms, a front plate stiffener, rear plate stiffener, all new axles. 705 this morning. Guess who texted me? Who's that? Oh, yeah, he texted me too. But Jake he brought, me, he brought yeah. me a whole suspension lift, everything, all the shit. Well, fuck, he left it like, he left it probably 12. Yep. Well, I got to stay up and put it all on. Yep. Fuck it. Yep. It's just, it's. Plus, I get those ideas and I got to go write it. So I, I got to at least write you, it down. You, I got to get up and draw it or something. Uh, John, you may you may or may not have this feeling. I don't know about you all may have this feeling, but I get this feeling like when it pops up in my head. Yeah. I'm all, You're on the clock. Yes. Well, you got to do it where yes. somebody else is going to do it. Because yes. I, yeah. um, I'm trying to think of the video that somebody just did the other day. That that I had that I had in in my notes that yeah. I had planned it was it was far down the list of what but I'm like motherfucker yeah they're they're on it so here's my thing about that I have you know I do a lot of comedy a lot of jokes yep. and stuff like that well I hear a lot of the jokes but I change them a little bit or something like that but then I hear people tell a joke and I'm like that's a good motherfucking joke but they delivered it like shit yep like they did not go through with it the way they should have well when I change it up and it does work if it works. Oh, I get shit for it. Yeah. Like, they'll be like, didn't this other guy say this joke? I'm like, yeah, go watch his video. Come back, watch mine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, we said the so, same words, but we did not say the same thing. So the small dick, big dreams thing. Yeah. It's fucking brilliant. I literally got that from someone saying something similar. Yeah. You know, I got a little. Actually, the deep pockets. I got a small. Brilliant. Yeah. I got a small thing, you know, big. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember what it was. 
But so, and and I just remember in the pod, the podcast somebody said, repeat that back to me, and he said it again. But it was it wasn't small dig big dreams. That that's a little bit more blunt yeah. to the point. You know, he was kind of beating around a bush. But um, and I go, I remember I, t- I remember that fucking minute texting my wife saying. I know what it is. It's small dick, big dreams. I I, that, I need that on a shirt. She That's printed it. it on a fucking cricket, or you know, on a cricket. She was uh she was working for Girl Scouts at the time. Yeah. Um. She was selling cookies. She was like a she yeah she was like a kind of ran the troops kind of thing. Yeah, she was like yeah. the kind of get some, yeah. men, some thin yeah. men. She was boy. a teacher before that. Oh before, hell. You know. I didn't know she was a teacher. Yeah, she was a teacher for years, man. I don't I don't know. I'll fuck it up if I say it, but like ten years or some shit, you know. And yeah. then and then she was uh then she did Girl Scouts for about a year, two years, and then social media, but but. Um, I don't. Well, I don't know where we was going with that, but yeah. But yeah, I get you where saying. you got your saying from. You. Oh yeah, yeah. So she put it on a shirt, right? Yeah. And I wore it to a county fair, mm-hmm. and then uh, I did this pull up competition, and that's yeah. kind of when it really kind of took off. Like I was wearing a small dick, big dream shirt. It was just gray, set it in black with a cricket. My wife just printed out the day before. Yeah. And I used to be jacked, and I stood in line at this pull up thing with the Marines and shit. Yeah. And eating a corn dog and shit. I reposted it the other day, and I just went over there and just. <laughs> You know, repped out all these. I'm trying to think, I'm sitting here thinking of the first video I saw with you. It was something to do with the party bus. Yeah, you were in the oh, shop. Oh damn, you've been a minute then. You've been, a, you, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been following you for a while. Hell yeah, dude. You had a, it, you were in the shop and you had the bus, and then uh, there was something with. Um, you were either just got the big truck, or you had just got the boat, or you had got rid of one or something. But I'm always keeping. It was fleet just you for a while, and then then page came in yeah yeah she didn't want to be on it at all she didn't want yeah, to and a lot of your all. videos in the beginning she would turn her face or walk out of them or yep. something like that and then the pizza oven deal and all that stuff but yeah it's been a minute it's yep. been a while yeah. i remember well, your first one was in a hotel room uh no your first one was in the truck i can remember when you were in a hotel room when you first got merch of any kind oh, yeah, you yeah. were in a hotel room somewhere in ohio or some shit boxing up fucking packages you had two tables set up that had like five things on it or something but i had uh yeah i was I was bulk ordering merch from fucking random Chinese companies, sending it to hotels. Yep. And I would have like twelve giant fucking boxes but show up at a hotel. What's crazy? What's crazy I to me? In my fucking yeah. room. What you just crazy. talked about about grinding. Yeah. yeah having, yeah. I'm in my head. I mean, years ahead. Yeah. I'm I'm, I'm down the road, yeah. and I had it in my head. I was watching you. I was watching you, and I was watching. Uh, mm-hmm. Can't think of his name. Still Cracker. Oh yeah, I was watching Still Cracker when, but when he, he got the quick. boat wreck and all that shit, I kind of I veered away from him. But I was watching y'all too, and I had it in my head that we were going to build a team, and y'all needed to be on the team. And then Cajun came into it, but that was that's been years. eight months before I ever reached out to John. Yeah, well, better. that look, it it goes back to what you were talking about too, though. Like this shit was bred into me. You know what I mean? This work ethic was my my fucking. I saw a picture of my grandpa. My grandpa's all crippled up now. Can't hardly move and shit, you know, in a, yep. in a wheelchair most of the time and like a minimum a cane and a walker, you know. But I don't want to interrupt you. I don't want to interrupt you. Go spend some time with him. I know. Go I know. I know, brother. I know. Um, it's a generation thing. But that our, our dads, our grandfathers, that's what was his, expected. There was yeah. nothing else allowed. Yeah, you, yeah. You get up, you work your ass off, you stay working. And we've said this on the podcast before, but it goes along with all this. If you... If you don't want to look at your accounts when you go in a store, stop looking you don't at want your watch. Your yeah, stop, yeah, yeah. stop looking at your watch while you're working. I agree with that shit. Man. Just freaking work. Yeah. Just keep work to the job. There, there's a balance. I have I have found, you know, you, you made a mention about your daughter not not seeing her first steps and stuff. That was me. Yeah. You know, my daughters, I missed a lot of things because I was working fucking shutdowns and turnarounds and all kind of shit, and. Because I had it in my head that that's what I had to do to provide for them. Yeah. You got to go to Now, work. later in life, you get the grandkids, you get stuff going on, and you kind of glimpse at it, and you realize that there are things that are more important. Yeah. And you need to make sure you take those times. But when I took those times and I sat down and I watched whatever or something, I couldn't, I just can't do it, man. I can't yeah. just sit and watch well, the, fucking TV bro, and shit. The and, thing is, though, like, I, so I 100% agree with you, but there's that part in my head that I tell myself, would I would I be here though? 
would I like if I wouldn't have made those sacrifices and shit? Oh, yeah. Would I be here? And that's, You'd be that's a different a, person. Yeah, I feel like that built me into who I am today. That made yeah. that yep. makes my message that yeah. much fucking I'm built more different, bro. Yep. Bro, on oh, God, bro. It's oh, all, that's God. almost hands, bro. Oh, God. That's almost hands, bro. I love all the cool bro. shit you do. <laughs> I'm a little too old school to get into all of those. Yeah. When that video comes that's up, funny I'm like, shit. I got yeah. to scroll. Yeah. I have a little brother in law. It's actually sister. gonna piss me off because <laughs> all the those kids really yeah. pissed me dude, off. I cracked yeah. up, dude. He was in the, what were you in, in, in like a bedroom on the floor in a Walmart. The one in he Walmart said, where you grab the bug. No, no, he was at that home. was funny. He was at yeah. home and he was doing something and he's like eating. He got it for breakfast or something and grabbed Oreos or, or yeah, some yeah, shit. Yeah. And she's like, "You cannot have that for breakfast." He's like, "I'm built different, bro." And I was like, "Oh, eat <laughs> real food, man. bro." No, was, <laughs> so, so I got a, I got a good, good family friends. They got a teenage son. His name's Cash. You know. Yeah. Like, and that's the thing too. Like eventually I'm going to start putting their names in it and shit. And he's going to have buddies and like, I want to do build on it. Kind of like you do yeah. your stuff. You know, I want to build on it a little bit. That's not really my, my, my brand, you know, but it's fun. It, it's it, fun. It's have you fun. Abandoned I'm the, really having a good time. The neighbor. It. Have you abandoned that deal? Dude, the neighbor takes so much time yeah. and energy. Cutting. Um, <laughs> do what? Cutting back and forth. Yeah. Cutting back. Yeah. So yeah, you know how it is. I'm filming yeah. all this one. I'm filling all that one. I got to have this. Prop. Make sure this prop together, there. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I got to have all that shit. And, and then yeah, that's all of John's. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> one of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have you seen, uh, have you seen his progression? Like when he first yeah, started, years, years too. But I've been following this kid for a minute. When he yeah. first started, it was like hard cuts between him and Ricky. Oh, yeah. he's got that shit so seamless that they both walk through a door almost yeah, all, at the same time. All the videos yeah. start looking more like production videos. Yeah. Yeah. and his, yours are the same. Like you're cutting back and you forth. You learn like this little technique back down, so or this yeah. little thing. I watch a lot of YouTube videos on filmmaking. Yeah, no. little shit. It's little shit. Well, like the 180 degree rules and like uh, how to make transitions between clips where you don't have a sound difference. That was a big one yeah. for me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, we're going to wrap this up. This is uh, whiskey. Is it on ice? Is it on the rocks? You tell us, you know. I don't know. It's on a fucking Hot Wheels loop. It's apparently. on a Hot Wheels loop. That's for damn sure. <laughs> but whiskey's going to be around. We're going to do a lot more podcasts. We had a good time. And we're going to do it one way. The outlaw way. <laughs>